Hey, this is Diana Andred, and finally I'm doing this video. Why well, I'm saying finally, because I've been trying to do it for several times and always were some technical issues that have appeared. But yeah, let's start. Uh, this video will be only talking, not singing as usual, uh, because there's... Uh, in my opinion, one of the most interesting topics that I wanted to discuss uh, that recently became like the most amazing part of my life. Uh, it's um, my experience with uh, lucid dreams, um, out of body experiences or more romantic name of it, astral projection, sleep paralysis, uh, hypnagogic states. Uh, well, yeah, and there, all these phenomena that are kind of like they're not the same exactly. These are just different outcomes of the same physiological state. So that's why I'm putting everything in the same category and uh, well I also have my notebook that is already almost finished so like a couple of pages left but fortunately I, I have um, written down many of my dreams conscious dreams and I wanted just to share some of it not some <laughs> the ones that I've written down and I'll be explaining as well some stuff related to them so let's start with what is lucid dreaming like there are many definitions like many <laughs> there isn't many definitions though like many different definitions but it's basically when you're conscious in your dream and you understand that this is a dream and some people say like these those are the dreams where you can control everything but i wouldn't say like you can control in some sense you can but it's mostly uh, an lucid dream everything you think is reflected in the surroundings and in the environment that you're in but if you can imagine like during the day we have billions of different thoughts that are coming to your head intentionally or and uh, unintentionally so every thought that comes up to your mind is somehow reflected <laughs> and um, sometimes we cannot control our thoughts but if you are able to control your thoughts then I might say yeah you can control your surroundings and lucid dreams or even sleep paralysis so uh, let's start but I think I should say that lucid dreams like be, uh, appeared in my life like on a regular basis maybe one or two years ago or something mm. and when I was uh, a kid I was mostly experiencing a lot of uh, sleep paralysis so I had many sleeping problems couldn't like fall asleep or every time I was falling asleep I was screaming during during my sleep because I was paralyzed in dreams and something weird is happening or you open your eyes and you still feel the dreams in your room and it's like when you're a kid you don't realize and at the time I didn't have uh, like I said like I didn't have like a computer to do a research on it or it wasn't like popularized as much as it is now so I couldn't understand I was just afraid of what the heck is happening like and uh, the most like uh, the most memorable dream, lucid dream that I had when I was a kid or maybe a teenager I don't really remember but uh, at the time I was playing a lot of video games and uh, in one of the dreams I realized like I'm in a dream I was in some sort of uh, dark labyrinth just like in a game 
And uh, I was like, okay, there's nothing to do. Let's just go through it. So I went my path. I stopped and, I'm, and I for somehow started to stress out because apparently I had to wake up to go to school or something or to do something. And I'm like, I don't want to waste time in a dream. I need to wake up. So I thought, okay, so if I'm in a dream and in order to wake up, maybe I'll need to kill myself. And just like in a dream, like you think about it, like, and in my head, just like in a dream, just like in a video game, like where you can pull up guns for your character it was the same for me like i imagined like i have a gun then i'm like oh nice and i shot myself in the head but um um it was like i reappeared in my saving point where the dream began began so i was again at the beginning of this labyrinth so i'm like okay let's I don't know why, but I did, again, the same path, stopped at the same spot. I'm like, okay, let's try again. And I tried to kill myself, and I cannot kill myself. So every time I'm trying to kill myself, I shot myself in the head, and I'm appearing again in the saving saving spot. But uh, in, like, five or six attempts uh, of doing this, I have um, woke up, like, in the reality. And this is like the dream that I remember from the past, but unfortunately I didn't write every one of them down and I'm pretty sure I had others, other lucid dreams. But I was very, 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 very familiar with, uh, with what is uh, sleep paralysis and uh, yeah. And this caused like uh, yeah many problems during my childhood and uh, teenage years. But uh, uh, let's start with some more recent dreams, like where this whole lucidity experience began for me. And uh, I'm gonna read some of them, but 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 problem or solution is that I'm writing in different languages so I might have I might need some time to translate those but I can do this on the on the go so yeah and last time I was recording the fucking video for two hours and I forgot to change the the settings so only 30 minutes were recorded but i was speaking aloud so i might do different parts for this um i don't know how to how to organize myself to find it yeah i think this is the first one um or well it wasn't like a really lucid, it was lucid dream mixed with a sleep paralysis. And yeah, sleep paralysis may also result in lucid dreams and vice versa. You just don't need to be afraid or like resist or just connect your mind to switch it from the sleep paralysis into lucid dreams. And it's possible, but I didn't know that at the time. So I was basically discovering firstly everything by myself. And then I started to to also find some stuff on the internet. Some of it may, was useful, but some of it uh, was very different for me and still is. And yeah, so I might share also some tips on how to become lucid, but maybe it'll be a whole different video. Um, so, in the morning I had a dream that I was, uh, I was sitting and uh, looking on the wall, which was all over the graffiti, and I can hear some uh, female voice, but I can't see any face or body. I was just somewhere in the space, just looking at this graffiti wall. 
And this voice was saying to me, like, yeah, well, at the time I was going out with somebody that I logically knew is uh, not good for me, but since I was also not very good in my head, I said, like, okay, what the heck, let's just see what will go in that, even though I completely uh, realized that this is not leading anywhere. So this vo- this female voice started to say to me like, anyways, uh, you're gonna be disappointed. Like uh, you don't need him, and you know this. Blah blah blah. And stuff like that. And I got shy, and I replied, uh, but if it is uh, indeed true, then I'll realize it on my own. Uh, I think the voice was uh, replying back, no, you don't see it. And then I understood, like, I realized, I understood that I'm in a dream, uh, because um, I didn't see any, like, even shapes of uh, the body, nor, like, anything. I can't see anything, I just, like, hear in the voice. And suddenly I ask, like, who are you? Um, and then I'm saying like uh, in general in lucid dreams you can choose what you want to do but here my dreamy simulation started like to dissipate graffiti disappeared and I just uh, I just was in some uh, time time space vacuum and this female voice turned into a very heavy male voice it was saying something and uh, this voice was also disappearing so i couldn't like hear what he or she were was saying to me and it felt like i also disappeared in the space and then i tried to scream in my sleep and I was also hearing myself screaming, uh, like from from distance, like from a bit out of sight. <laughs> but uh, my scream was appearing not, not like I was imagining it like I was screaming, but it was very like, you know, when you try to scream, but you can't, like exactly as in sleep paralysis. Why it stopped? What the fuck? don't understand what the fuck is stopping okay okay i cannot record like uh 4k videos but whatever weird i don't know every time i try to record this video some technical issues appeared even today i spent like literally one hour to fix in and my microphone because it's suddenly in the middle it wasn't recognized anymore even though it was uh recording just before but hey, okay. The next one. Uh, I think so it's again in Russian. Da, da, da. Uh, okay. Ah, and also, uh, I was always facing like sleeping problems and uh, at that time I realized that I don't need like anything to make me help to fall asleep before because before oh this guy is so beautiful because before I was like either drinking alcohol or smoking weed and I got this fixed idea that I cannot fall asleep without anything or like even taking meds but at the time I like I stopped everything and I faced again this issue with falling asleep. It was very, very difficult. Like either I was like two or three hours in my bed and couldn't sleep. And then I started to watch uh, physics videos. Yeah, because it was like the same. When I was in university, I was listening to the co- recordings of my lectures and, it, and uh, it was always making me fall asleep. So I was just hearing like some voice talking about like some particles and stuff and then you then you fall asleep so I said hey I can still like 
do this. I was watching physics videos of, uh, oh, I forgot his name. Well, doesn't matter. Uh, but then I, it was like very good quality, like with good pictures. And it was so funny when you wake up in 4 a.m. and you're hearing like, so quantum entanglement is the blah, blah, blah. And you're like, okay. Uh, but yeah, I have listened to every like, I think scientific video that has been on YouTube. And uh, then in my recommendation videos, there was like a uh, hypnosis tape on how to lucid dreams, uh, how to have lucid dreams. I'm like, sure, whatever, let's try this out again. And uh, I was listening to every day and I started to easily fall asleep because like you get your body relaxed, it's some sort of meditation. And uh, I was like, yeah, cool, cool. I'm I can sleep and I don't need any meds, so I don't need anything. But after, so I've been listening to this hypnosis tape for like a month or two even, maybe, I think two. So it's like August, like even two or three months. And then one day, well, night, uh, say I woke up, but I don't think it is, maybe it's this dream, well, we'll see. So I, I was waking up during the night, I couldn't like properly fall asleep. At 6 or 7 a.m. I couldn't sleep at all. I sat a bit in my phone, like answered to some people, and then I tried to get into a lucid dream. Uh, just because they're happening like in the morning and it was like six or seven in the morning well usually I think I might have missed something but okay uh, so I put the um, the usual hypnosis tape on, on and in 30 minutes I got in and I realized that I was in a dream and it was so impressive that I'm still uh, that I still cannot believe in it. My body ha was been uh, pulled into some field and I was uh, like in front of a... In my dreams I'll call everybody friends because I um, won't say names because there were, uh, otherwise there'll be many names. So I was with a friend to whom I wasn't talking anymore and I was like sitting in front of him and he was like also like uh, consciousness or this was just like taxidermic like body laying on without like any any life symptoms I don't know how to say it but we weren't talking to this friend at the time and um, I instantly realized that this is a dream and then in my head the first thing I thought was well it's a lucid dream then I can start flying because I like flying flying is cool in lucid dreams it's one of the one of the best activities that you can do even though I'm afraid of heights but I like to fly yeah this is a um, very interesting contradictory passion And when I said it like to myself, let's fly, that's it. It was like my eyes got uh, suddenly closed and I cannot open them. It was no darkness, uh, uh, nothing, just, just emptiness. And again, the same uh, male voice uh, was saying, uh, you don't know much yet. But this time, uh, I didn't uh, like think, and I replied with half of my body, and I was hearing myself speaking again from like uh, way farther than I was at the time, and I was like mm, replying like with my body like this or something, and 
And then I started to speak with, like, to think with my mind. And then what do I, what I don't know, I asked, like, him. And he simply replied, like, your birthday. What, my birthday? Whatever. And then that's it. This voice disappeared. Great. Uh, but I still wanted to see at least something. And I tried to open my eyes in a dream. But I accidentally opened them with my body. <laughs> so, but my body was still in a trance. I couldn't move it. So I think it was the sleep paralysis. Uh, because sleep paralysis, lucid dreams, out of body experiences, they happen when you're in a rapid eye movement state of sleeping. Or I call it like a phase. Because in Russian, it means like. Faza быстро was now the face of the rapid sleeping. So I was in this physiological state, in a phase, but I couldn't move. Move, except I opened my eyes, and you can rapid eye movement. It's because you can, your eyes like moving rapidly. I was just feeling that uh, I was being how to say, pulled somewhere, like I was floating somewhere, then I put in uh, question mark, sleep paralysis, but this time I wasn't afraid anymore, uh, I think I was more in some shock and couldn't realize that this was possible, uh, it's strange and amazing at the same time because when I opened my eyes uh, I was seen uh, with the eyes of my body but I was feeling myself like flying floating somewhere somewhere in the room well far away apart from my body so basically I was seeing one picture but I was feeling my body somewhere else <laughs> And um, and then uh, <laughs> and I felt like I was getting pulled somewhere, and uh, I was feeling like okay, let's imagine this is like my physical body, and I was flying, let's say somewhere in the room, so I was seeing everything that was down, like from a bedroom, from a bed, and. Um, I felt like I was getting pulled and I was getting pulled back into my body and uh, my eyes were still open and my whole body like came back and then like the feeling, uh, the physical feeling of the body and the vision like collapsed back together and I woke up. Yeah, well sleep paralysis, they don't last like longer than one or two minutes. So I woke up in my body and then I looked around and everything was like it's like you were in a trip and everything wasn't like sta stabilized it was uh, every like shape was moving and this was like for 20 minutes or something and then I'm like okay like am I in this reality now I'm like back okay cool but I was so amazed with this because it, it was like, this was even like more uh, hyper real. It was more hyper realistic than, than uh, my previous uh, lucid dreams because I was also connected to my body and I was somewhere else. And then I, I like was conscious during the whole process when I was coming back back into the physical body. I hope I'll explain, I'm explaining it in a normal way, but yeah, that's what happens. And then I start to reflect on like, with whom I was talking about, uh, with whom I was talking, was it my mind or, well, for me, it was like extraordinary. I didn't know like this could happen, happen. Um, so, doo -doo -doo. 
Then I realized that I want to try to do this again and again because it's like an amazing feeling. Mm. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and then like the next day when I had this experience, I so saw many different groups of people like during the day and I uh, was sharing this experience with everybody. There were like all different kinds of opinions. Like some people were saying, oh, that's cool. I was also trying to do this, but I only got like sleep paralysis and I was very scary. Then the other one said, oh, you are, what the fuck? You're like a witch or something. And then another was like, hmm. No, I don't believe you. It's not possible. But if you do it again, then I might believe you. And then literally the next day I had it. And uh, other people also said, like, this might be my higher self talking to me. I don't know if it's real or not. You can't really prove it. But uh, it seems like everything that's happened in your dream is just a projection of your inner world or your thoughts or your mind but in lucid dream you're just of your thoughts but in just regular dreams this is like your subconscious that's talking to you probably i don't know this is still like a very interesting talk topic to me so that was like one of the first very hyper realistic experience that i had and and yeah already like Next day, I had another one. Uh, this morning, I again succeeded to get back into a lucid dream. I woke up at about 6 a.m. and put the audio tape on. And uh, from the first time, meaning like after 40 minutes, because this uh, hypnosis tape is in Russian and it's lasting like four. 42 or 43 minutes or something so basically I can realize if I was in a dream during this time or not in 40 minutes so after 40 minutes I couldn't fall asleep still but I put the hypnosis tape for the second time and everything uh, finished on the 19th minute it means like I woke up and the tape was uh, was in the 19th minute I was laying in my bed, feeling some weightlessness, and then uh, at some point I got pulled out again, and I realized that it, this is happening. Like I was lay, lying, and it felt like somebody was, or somebody, some force was dragging me somewhere. My body was still laying. Uh, But, but it was uh, going with the face down, okay, whatever. And again, I'm hearing the same uh, male voice. Um, at the beginning, I started to, I started trying to speak up again, but then remembered that I can also do it with my thoughts, like with my mind. Where you can speak to the environment just by thinking stuff. You don't have to like to think as in this reality. Hey, I need to move my mouth to speak. Well, you don't really think about it, but you kind of just realize you're doing it with your mouth, not with your mind. Like you're just thinking. Uh, but at some point, my thoughts started to. Um, be louder than the voice but my eyes were still closed and I couldn't open them or I couldn't see anything it was all like timeless spaceless uh, and this voice was saying I'm your inner voice and I'm guiding you cool uh, I did some some round of circles in my room as I thought so, because I didn't go very far. Um, and, and then I woke up. Precisely, I didn't do it like on purpose, but I was getting pulled 
back when I was trying to to like to hear what this voice was saying. That's it. Okay. Okay. I thought it was like the the other one, the other dream that I wanted to to talk about. It was very awesome, actually. Oh. Okay. So at some point I didn't have any lucid dreams because I also was having uh, like uh, very intense social life and at the, this summer I think it didn't work because I was only like doing translations and teaching and the classes there were stopped for the summer and I didn't got any any projects to work on so basically my sleeping schedule was a bit hectic at the time so okay why do I write so many stuff LD okay this might be it so many exclamation marks uh, today uh, when I was sleeping I finally got uh, into a lucid dream, exclamation mark. And uh, even just right after I turned on the video, uh, the audio tape on. I think this is it. Yeah, this one is like the good, uh, the one of the best actual lucid dreams that I had. I literally remember this feeling when my body starts to float away somewhere up, down, it's just slow, it's just dissipating. It's like you're going into, it, I don't know how's it called, like a, uh, in a water park you have those rides, you know, when you splash into the pool. And it was exactly, at first it started like slowly and then it was like you're going in this black ride. You're just floating somewhere, you don't see anything, but you're like very quickly uh, moving. So, 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 so. So realizing this, I was already preparing questions that I would ask to this higher self or to this voice. But there were no voice at all. Nobody replied to me, unfortunately. Fortunately or unfortunately. Um, but at least I got the picture or the view. Because generally in ever all the previous two Lucy James, like everything was dark or I couldn't see anything at all. But even generally, like when I see dreams, I see them as without the glasses or lenses, so everything is bl blurry. Uh, but this time everything was very high quality. Um, I was uh, on the surface of some, on some ocean, which was very light. It was very like blue light blue turquoise and it was just like blue ocean and blue sky no waves it was very like calm just like very micro a bit micro microwaves <laughs> like little waves around but and I was standing on the surface of it I wasn't going down but I was like on the surface in the ocean everything was like chill calm and so beautiful and I was like Okay, well, if there's no any voice speaking to me, then I can fly. And I started like to jump on the surface, like to the sky and back. It was like on the like very cool. I don't know. And it was very beautiful. I was jumping up and down. I was watching at this like view, but. Uh, uh, at some point I started to jump higher and higher and 
I got from the atmosphere, the like the blue sky. I went from the atmosphere to space, <laughs> and which was like dark, and you can see like even the, like the stars. So I was uh, going from the surface of the like endless ocean, jumping like in the air, and then just like instantly the sky changed into the space. So I was jumping from, uh, it felt like I was jumping from the earth to the space, from the earth to the space. And I was doing this like the whole dream. And I don't know, this was like awesome, but it got me a bit perturbated because it's like, you're, you're constantly changing your like in the space. And then I realized that I'm afraid of heights. Uh, so I was flying from the earth to space, but uh, this uh, view of the space got me anxious a bit, even though I knew that uh, uh, even if I knew that nothing like can happen, really happen to me, because this is all just a dream where the physics law just don't work, as in uh, in a uh, like normal reality. And then I, I don't know, so it could be very interesting to get back into a black hole and see what would happen or what would my mind project because sometimes you don't know, you might just end in the singularity, but also like black holes can be like a way to the parallel worlds or who knows. But unfortunately, I still didn't do this. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna stop for this part uh, because it's been already a while. I still need to edit this video up, but uh, it's not even a half of the notebook. So I'm gonna do other parts if you like this video, of course. So yeah, but this is just like the beginning and I still have many interesting uh, vivid lucid dreams even though this one like the last one was my I still is kind of one of my favorites uh, and uh, yeah thank you for watching and for listening and if you have any questions about lucid dreams, how to get into lucid dreams or sleep paralysis, uh, out of body experiences, because for now I didn't describe like any of hobbies, but they will come a bit later and even hypnagogic states. So, so yeah, thank you for watching and for listening and stay lucid.